done, we'll be ready for the next meal. Well, I think you're forgetting about engaging conversation. This is more than a meal. This is an experience. The food is but one component of this overall experience. So you have me here. You have two men that are Stop saying it. Why do you keep saying we have two men? Well, we two of us are men. men. I know, but you don't have to talk about that. We get it. We have two men. I right. understand. Yeah, well, I'm a man, uh, and you're a man. Why do you keep saying that? Well, because I, I'm putting perspective on the situation. We are two men in a uh, rich, traditional, cultural experience here. We don't care about things like time. I would like to see if we could have this meal take a little bit longer, because this is a very special moment in both of our lives. This is how we grow. I, I, want, I wanted to watch the latest Mission Impossible movie dubbed in Japanese, mm -hmm. and that starts in about an hour. So I was thinking maybe we could talk to them and speed it up. Is that possible? This is a real experience. You understand? You are, you you are seen, in the movie. Have you seen Tom Cruise dubbed in Japanese? No, I it's know. hilarious. So, how do we say? Maybe what we do is we start, get the food, and get the rest to go. Would that be considered? Maybe we submit and we become vulnerable and expose ourselves to another culture. We are not in control here. We come here with humility. We so, you're saying we are men yes. who should. Straddle and submit. Yes. You see what I did there? Yeah. We are not in control. We are, uh, this experience <laughs> is happening to us. Okay. We are not motivating the experience. All you need to do is sit here and let the magic happen. Do you understand? You have this, this disposition that you want to take control because that's all you know. That's the mode that your brain snaps into and you're not even aware of it. Take control. You have no control here. Your rank is irrelevant. No one here cares who you are. We are here to enjoy an experience. I'm sure You're someone here, here. I'm sure someone here, no. We are, there's nowhere where we are equals. Mm. There is nowhere on this planet that we are equals. And I'm sure someone here, somewhere in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. has YouTube and they know Conan O'Brien. Yes. But yeah. you must understand your financial and career success do not apply here. We are in a bubble. We are 1,000 years prior to the moment that you were even born. We are traveling through time and space to create this experience together. I, I think we're just in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I really do think we're in a restaurant. I think they're going to bring us some good food. I don't think we're in a bubble. I don't think we're traveling through time and space. I want you to note the details of the experience because you're missing so much already. In, a, in an attempt to exert control, a futile attempt at that, you're missing all the details of the room. This room tells us so much about Japanese culture, the minimalism, the importance of every single object, the placement, the sacred nature of the objects in front of you. As you make your mildly funny jokes, you're missing what's really important here. You're missing the tatami match. You're missing the shoji drawers. drawers. You're missing the uh, careful placement of every utensil. These objects serve us tonight. They are sacred. I have a question. You long said you were an expert in Italy and Italian food. And I'm getting the sense now that Japan is your other area of expertise. Well, I'll tell you something. First of all, I am a humble man. I do not claim to be an expert at anything. I am a student of life and all cultures of life. I can tell you that as much as I am known for liking Italian food, I've always said that the most similar cuisine in the world, in my opinion, to Italian food is Japanese food. Why? Because both involve the same core concept, which is taking the greatest ingredients on earth and presenting them very simply, whether it's a piece of sushi or a beautiful piece of wagyu beef. Uh, the Japanese Minimalism applies not only to their culture and their art, but to their food as well. I, I think I think this meal is going to be a lot longer. I think we're going to set a record today mm -hmm. for the length of one of these meals. You see, your concerns with such earthly matters is time. We are living above time. You and I transcend space and time. Stop saying that. In this moment, we're in a restaurant. Yes. We're in a restaurant wearing spa robes. It's fine. I get it. It's it's a going to be a fine experience, but stop saying we're transcending time and space. You again try to exert control, you have none. Kombawa. Uh, kombawa. Kombawa. Oh, arigato gozaimasu. What did you say arigato what? Gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Ah. Beautiful robes. Arigato gozaimasu. Sorry for my friend. Talks. Talks. Yeah, him, him. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, right? <laughs> International language. Uh, arigato. Arigato. Um, you see, you learn. You learn. You 
submit and you learn. You learn arigatokozaimasu. You learn how to behave in this culture. And then when this is done, I promise you, you can return to your life, you can return to your control and your power. I promise you that's coming. Everything you know, your fame and your wealth will come back, but it doesn't exist here for these three hours. Well, I'm can paying, you live I'm, three hours? I'm paying for this meal. So yes. You honor me by paying for this meal. Yeah, yeah. And you lie to me by saying my my money means nothing here, because I'm paying for this meal. Uh, it may mean something to you, it does not mean anything to me. How do we... Um, do you want to reverse this off? Yeah. Okay. What's... Hey, can I just get you to say that first line of the whole... Um, what do you call this dinner again? Oh, well, these aren't even on the table. Uh, that's fine. I'll frame it okay. out. All set? And yeah, we're good. And go ahead. What do you call this dinner again? What's it called? Oh, this is called kaiseki. It's a very traditional Japanese meal dating back hundreds of years. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. You have to all, uh, we can go? Yep. yep. Arigato. Uh, she has not said anything to deserve thanks. Uh, you could say uh, konbawa, which is good evening. I understand that you just learned the word arigato, but it is not applicable for every situation. It is to say thank you. And I was thanking wrong. her for coming into the room. Right. So what's wrong with that? Well, thank you is never I'm wrong. You can say, oh, thank you for being here. I, I disagree that thank you is not So what are you saying? Oh, you could say hello, you could say konbawa. 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 And what's uh, Iowa? Is what? Uh, it's actually the same, Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. Konbawa, Iowa. You insult her and you insult me. Why? Well, because Iowa is a state uh, that is n not relevant. Wait, I thought you said that that was the word for, oh, it's Ohio. I swear to God, I'm not trying to make a joke. Yes. I said Ohio. Yes. Ohio is what I wanted to say. Uh huh. What's Ohio? Uh, that would be uh, hello in the morning. And I said Iowa? I think you did say Ohio. Okay, I apologize. So, so you genuinely thought I Iowa. I thought I, I Honestly, that was not me doing a joke or trying to be funny because there are cameras here. I said Iowa because I thought that was me saying hello. Right. I honestly did do that. And that was not me trying you to be funny. You made a mistake. You were incorrect. It is a state. Maybe I was going to talk to her about Iowa. I understand that you made the connection in your mind, and that's a great way to learn a language. To take a word, figure out a word that you know that sounds like it, and keep that in mind. So I do applaud the effort. She is moments away from drowning herself in the koi pond rather than here. One second more of this battle. I suggest that we order some sake. Uh, sake? Yes. Um, do they have a special kind, I guess? Uh, well, uh, I would uh, like uh, to order, if I may, a cold sake. Oh, okay. uh, do you honor us if you choose? Do you choose a uh, cold sake? Yeah. You honor us by choosing the cold. And I apologize. How do I say this? My, my, why do you say I'm sorry? You can say I'm sorry very slowly. I'm sorry <laughs> that I said <laughs> Iowa. I wasn't even trying to make a joke. Try to make it, keep it simple. I'm sorry I said Iowa instead of Ohio. But now you're saying that even Ohio is wrong because that's for the morning and this is the evening. You said nothing correct. Arigato. 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 How do you say I'm sorry? I'm, I don't know. I don't claim oh, to you speak don't. Japanese, but I've made an effort to learn certain words. And I appreciate you, in the uh, era of humility, trying to learn some tonight as well. And maybe we will learn together, because remember, we are students of life. I am not a teacher here. I may seem in a superior position right now to you, my body language and tone of my voice. But you and I together are students of this experience. We are learning, and that will bring you and I closer together. And as Two men. We will I don't want this. that. Stop the two men thing. Really. We stop it. Shape, this will stop it. No more two men. Permanent. No. Stop it. No more two men. Stop. It's just stop it. The two men. Stop uh, it. Two and men. Both of those things are true. All right. Stop it. Just let it go. Okay. Uh, as you know, Japanese cuisine uh, is uh, can be very healthy. The Japanese are very thin. Well, in fact, uh, Japan has the highest life expectancy on Earth and uh, the lowest infant mortality rate. And the uh, United States, by comparison,
comparison, depending on uh, which scale you look at, as maybe the 31st or the 43rd highest life expectancy. And the difference, on average, is five years. Okay, so in the US, if the life expectancy is approximately 79 years, in Japan, it's 84 years. And those are five good years. Now, you're 55. And uh, no, no, no. We're, we changed that. On Wikipedia now, I have my people put it out there. I am 42. I see. Okay. Just stick with that. The 55 thing, we did some studies, it wasn't fine. Right. I am 42. You uh, started the late night with Conan O'Brien show 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Statistically speaking, in 24 years, you will be dead. But not by Japanese food. Japanese food is very healthy. Yeah, on average, uh, the Japanese do live five years longer. And My point is, correct. I might get healthier. <coughs> oh, bless you. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to pomposity. Uh, there, there is uh, no shortage of towels here, yet you have uh, made a deliberate choice to squeeze into your hands. Well, I chose my hands. I, uh, I took well, it's better than nothing. I took one for the team. What team? Listen, my point is, I am concerned with a leaner diet. Yeah, I always think that I could get more trim. Yeah, I understand your philosophy. Do you disagree? Uh, well, you are caught up in the micro instead of seeing the macro. Simple term. Do you think I need to lose a little more weight? I think you have underlying mental problems that contribute towards your physical What are you talking about? I have underlying mental problems. Oh, well, we can speak freely here as two men. Uh, Stop it, it, again. If you say the two men one more time, out the glass, you go yeah. through the glass into the water. Right. Okay? Yeah. There uh, is no let's, glass. Let's pay her the attention that she's still. <laughs> you speak English? A little bit. A little bit? Very good. We are the guests. I know that. Say it yet, but I'm going to say it. Ah, I hi. You have to choose the glass. Hi. <laughs> no, just one. Which one do you like? Is there one you like? Like that one. Okay, so the poison's in that one. <laughs> well, she got that. Didn't no, speak much English, didn't. but. What do you mean she did? She did. You're not putting joke. pressure on her to laugh. No, I'm not. Things that she I am. Uh, isn't expected to understand. I am funny, funny in all the languages. languages. Yeah. Arigato. Say. Um, Arigato. Uh, a toast, maybe? A toast. Kampai. Kampai. That's very good. That's beautiful. Now, sake is a rice wine. Yeah, they make it made of rice. Well, the origin is rice. It's fermented from a starch, much like beer, in fact, as opposed to uh, regular wine, as we know it, which is fermented from sugar. That's very good. Yeah. Um, we're going to get our buzz on. We're going to enjoy this experience come what may. Yeah, which for me involves getting my buzz on. Yes. Maybe your priorities don't align with the priorities around us. It's not a priority. Right. You I just don't think it doesn't, doesn't right. hurt get your buzz on. I'm saying you're projecting ahead. Let's enjoy this moment. Uh, wh what happens in the future happens in the future. No, I'm not talking about that far in the future. Right. My buzz will be very, very soon. Okay. Yeah. I think your physical condition can be traced back to underlying um, mental obstacles uh, that you may suffer. And uh, I don't think it comes down to counting calories. Do you know I work out a lot? Do you know that? I do. And I try and, to And that it. makes you feel better about your life. I work out a lot. I could gain. I, I could stand to lose a few pounds. Oh, I, I think I'm, that looks nice. Ooh, what is that? Just sit. You work for me. You don't have to constantly speak. This from you. 
returns the slightest answer to a question into a Russian novel. Arigato. This is uh, very beautiful. I'm glad to take the time to appreciate that. Everything in this room, everything on this plate has a purpose. Nothing is extraneous. Everything here has meaning, and in fact, everything is sacred. You and I are included. We are sacred. No, 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 no. You, you, you are in this room, and you have no function. So, I disagree with your thesis. Much of the experience that we are in uh, is influenced by Shinto beliefs, and the fact is that the kami, the Shinto gods, are everywhere. They are in every aspect of this table setting. They are in every aspect of this food, and in fact, they flow through us. Uh, let's discuss what we think this is. I'm not concerned with what it is. I'm concerned with how beautiful it is. Look at the colors, look at the arrangement on the plate. Everything is placed very carefully, perhaps with tweezers. This is not some hand hand arrangement that just fell into place. This is deliberate, and we should enjoy every moment of it. Does this go on our lap, by the way, the napkin? Yeah. What are you doing? Hmm. You're a pervert. <laughs> That's the same face you make when you're smelling a lady's shoe <laughs> in the coat closet. I'm sorry, you just looked like a total creep when you were sniffing the food. And you went, ah, ah. <laughs> Creeps ahoy, creep off the, off the board bow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it smells yeah. good? Yes, well I like to excite all the senses uh -huh. and uh, we should uh, exploit this opportunity fully. So yes, there is a scent, there is a uh, feel, texture. Right. We should hold this in our mouths. We should uh, swirl it around our mouth, let it touch We're men. part of our We tongue. are men. We are men. We should straddle, submit, and hold it in our mouth. All those things we should. Hey. Got you, finally. Now, look at, I want you to look at your nap. Uh, you had something about the Shinto spirits yeah. in us. Yeah. yeah, I think you're full of Shinto. Yeah. Right. So let's go. You talk about the Shinto for a second. Yes, just remember that every aspect of Japanese culture is influenced in some part by the Shinto beliefs that the gods, the kami, are everywhere. They are in every object and they flow through us. You're saying the Shinto is everywhere. The Shinto is everywhere in us as well. I think you're full of Shinto. Pretty good, huh? B plus. Now I want you to look at your napkin and I want you to look at my napkin. Now these napkins are sacred objects. These napkins are filled with the Shinto spirits, and uh, everything should be treated with respect. There but that's not possible. You're saying basically, in this belief system, a used Kleenex is filled with the Shinto spirit. Yes, it is. That means you have, to have, you have to have a full-on funeral for every sure. used object. Sure. They don't a use. urinal cake, is, uh, there's a Shinto god in the urinal cake? The urinal cake has provided happiness by keeping the air fresh smelling. Do you understand? But it how would you like to be the Shinto to. god who's assigned to the urinal cake? Do you know what I mean? Like there's Shinto, I understand it. A Shinto god gets assigned to a cherry blossom, but when they're giving out assignments, how does that Shinto god feel when he opens up his assignment and says you're a urinal cake at a bus station in Osaka? That's not a happy Shinto. The urinal cake serves you. Do you understand? These objects serve us. Treat them with respect, including the used napkin. Oh, here we go. probably notice we didn't eat anything yet because him, blah, 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 you know? You know? We would like to go slowly, slowly. Mm. Look at her movements. Do you see how she respects all these objects? Her movement? What do you notice about her movements? Uh, they're fluid and they're respectful and they're, uh, they're all necessary. There's nothing extraneous as well. And, and everything I do, even taking the wrapper off the chopsticks, I will put it in some place that is aesthetically pleasing. You understand? I will align it with the side of the tray and put it there. We should take a moment and take a deep breath. Sometimes uh, we adapt to the Western way of doing things. We see food in front of us and feel the need to eat it quickly. But I say we take a moment to sit and breathe and acknowledge how special this time is between you and I, and where we are, and uh, 
I hope that this is an experience that we will remember forever. I need to be out of here in 20 minutes. Mission Impossible, dubbed in Japanese. It's 15 minutes from here. Uh, as my host, I will honor you and uh, let you take the first bite. What do you think I should bite first? Uh, well, that's going to be your decision. You are a, a human being of free will and uh, your own volition. Uh, I encourage you to take whatever. Uh, what do we think this food. is? What is this? See, you don't. You're thinking intellectually. I say, shut off your mind and open your spirit. I think this is eel. Okay. Hmm. Do you agree that that's eel? We are in the Tsukiji neighborhood of Tokyo. Now, the Tsukiji neighborhood is famous for its fish market. And to have fish so close to that legendary fish market is truly something special. Do you think this is fresh fish? Do the Japanese don't put an emphasis on the freshness of the fish. In fact, people always talk about sushi in exemplary terms about how fresh it was. But in fact, really good sushi is not fresh at all. Fresh fish would be poor sushi. Really good sushi is fish that has been processed by the sushi chef, marinated, prepared according to his desires. I hope this is not fresh fish. You hope you're eating old, old fish. I do. I hope you get Fermented, sick. processed, touched by mankind. Very good. This is very good. I think you have. Um, Underlying uh, mental obstacles that contribute to your. You keep thinking. Condition. You keep diagnosing me. You are not a doctor. You have no training, and you're constantly right. diagnosing me with mental obstacles. What are you talking about? Well, you have told me that uh, you're making an effort to live longer and be healthier. No, not live longer, but just uh, be healthy. I work out. Yes, but working shows. out makes you feel better. I don't think working out uh, is enough for what you are trying to accomplish. To go bags, they got to. Bag, you can just put it in a bag and, and take it. You can eat it in the theater when I'm watching Tom Cruise. Um, Mission Impossible. It's the latest one. The guy's, like, he's in his 70s. He's right, amazing. On this plate, I can taste the sea. You can taste the sea? Yeah. In those fish it. Can you taste the, the men of the sea? What men of the sea are you referring to? Just wondering if you can taste the semen. I taste the sea. Pretty good, huh? A minus? Is that an A minus what I just did? I'm a child. Glass, I will honor you by filling your sake glass. Oh, you, you fill mine. Uh, you can choose, uh, and then I can whether you want to do the same. Uh, return the honor for me. And no. Right. Hmm. That's really good. How do you drink the soup? You can um, hold it like a oh, here she comes. I never hear her coming. She's right. silent, like the wind. Well, you She's like very to be quiet. loud and boisterous, but in fact, uh, this culture values minimalism. And um, you'll find that uh, you are very loud and possibly annoying, uh, and, and ruin the serenity of this environment uh, for the people here, including myself. Very quiet. I got
she's beautiful. I love what she's wearing. And you're right. She's got a very she's got a grace. A yes, natural, she she's yes. got a natural grace. Yeah, I'm glad you appreciate that. But a lot of it is cultural. Again, I think that we are sometimes overwhelmed with clutter in our lives. Um, in both physical clutter and also emotional clutter, which I think you suffer from. And uh, also I think our movements are unnecessarily convoluted. Yes, that is good soup. A probiotic soup like miso will fortify your intestinal flora. Uh, the trillions of bacteria that live in the colon um, improve both your digestion, <coughs> but also your overall health and immunity. Really? Yeah. That's funny because I find you hard to stomach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walk into these. I'm like a, a prize fighter. You, your chin is just hanging out in the wind, and I am slamming away. Right. Ooh, is that? That must be rice. Is that rice? You're very concerned with what things are. Oh my I God! Assume, you can no, you can, if you don't like what something is, you may decide not to eat it. No, that's not the case. Eat it first, and then if you're curious, if you really like something, you think you may want it again one day. You can find out what it was. That's stupid. All I said was, is that rice in the bowl? Yeah. You're saying, do not be concerned with what is. That's not all, all you said. You said, is that rice in the bowl? You said, is that eel? You said, what is that? Don't be concerned with what it is. Again, you're thinking with your head and not your spirit. I know you're intelligent. You don't have to improve that to me. Uh, just understand that your intelligence is not what's in question here. I question your spirituality. I question your emotions. I said, I asked, is that rice? It's either rice or it isn't rice. You say this that isn't a, this isn't a philosophical question. Is yeah. it rice or is it not rice? Yeah. You say that I am stoic, yet I am overwhelmed with romance right now. You sit there thinking. You think this is a, you think this is a romantic moment. Oh, right? I know this is a romantic moment for what? myself. What uh, are, are you talking about? How are we right having a romantic moment? How are we moment? not having a romantic moment? Because we we're not. Around. We're not. We are sitting on tatami. We have shoji jewels. We have beautiful koi pond outside. Do you hear the trickle of the water over your pointless ramblings? Jesus! I am overwhelmed with romance right now. Should I shut the doors? Is that what you're suggesting? I think you should shut your intelligence. Do you understand? You think with the head, not with the heart. You should come again. Sound like the wind. Incredible. You just you know a lot about Rush, don't you? Well, I know about Rush. We are talking about sticks. Oh, this sticks! Is, uh, 1983's uh, Kilroy. Why do you know that? Why Tennessee. do you know sticks albums? It's ridiculous. Well, you know sticks albums. No, I don't. Reference one. I'm only serving to explain who the character of Mr. Roboto was. He was a disguise. You see, Kilroy was being persecuted because he was a former rock star, and this was a dystopian future where rock music was outlawed. This is the time of rock opera, 1983. I believe it was February 1983. And I'll tell you something else. The original A&M release of that CD was very well mastered. A&M, of course, uh, became defunct in 1989 as it was sold to Polygram. Uh, Polygram uh, was the mm. parent company of Polydor, which I happen to know from releasing the Saturday Night Fever. You've got to not talk about this. You've got to not talk about this. You're on a horrible, I know you can't control what's wrong with you, but you're now talking about a Styx album at length. Okay? We and have time. No, there's never enough time to talk about sticks. 
at length. If you and I were trapped in an iceberg together for a thousand years, there would not be time for you to go on about sticks. 1983 out. What do you have against sticks? You, have you been emotionally traumatized by sticks? Did something horrible happen to you while I never liked that. Play? Well, you brought it up. I know your intelligence is not so limited to make a. Jomo Aragato, Mr. Roboto, is a line that people hate reference. They don't reference it lovingly. I don't know or care what people do. I certainly don't. I think you do. If it makes you feel better to think that other people do as well, well, then I hope that you have succeeded. Let's stick with where we are and what we're doing. Yeah. We just went on a whole rant about sticks. But we are here in a beautiful room. Yeah. In what section of Tokyo are we in? Tsukiji. Do you understand how a conversation flows? We go off on tangents, as Robert Frost said, knowing how way leads on to way. When one thread of conversation goes into another, that's natural. That is sub uh, submitting to the flow of energy. And that also has to do with Shintoism uh, and even Buddhism to submit to the flow of energy. Don't worry. Now, some of these dishes were uh, in Yes. Yes, you would like to laugh. I'm very funny. Yes, genius. She honors you. She knows what you want to see, and she gives it to you. She's laughing for real. You know, she she can tell that I'm being funny. She's no. not humoring me. There is nothing She's funny. laughing because I understand I'm understand you, and I don't think you're funny right now. I doubt that she thinks you're funny. What is funny about you? I'm just, I'm a delightful person and a lot of fun. Right. I'm a comedian of some renown. Yeah. Uh, not in this room, you know. You don't have to assert your status and authority again. Uh, you don't need to prove yourself to me. I understand who you are. I'm telling you that doesn't apply. What do you think this is? Aren't you a little bit curious about what things are? A lot of these cuisines were influenced by uh, various periods in Japan's history, going all the way back to the ninth century. Mm. Uh, they're respecting different and blending different uh, periods in Japan's history. Aren't the tofu? Everything was put here deliberately. You understand? Now, I've seen you shoveling rice into your mouth like a pig at the trough. But just understand that Japanese why so, rice... Why are you so rude to me? I'm saying Japanese rice in particular should be savored every single grain. Japanese Did you say rice, last night, last night, did you think I was shoveling? Uh, there was a time what I witnessed last night had no place in this country or any other. Um, what did I do? Shoveling uh, rice into your mouth uh, by coal into a furnace. Understanding, not understanding that that rice is so carefully and specifically prepared in such an artistic way, and you shoveled it into your mouth. I had it like a barbarian. Well, when I grew up, as you know, one of six kids, we f we were very competitive about yeah. getting the food into our mouths as fast as we could. Yes, and uh, there were six pork chops on the table. Your brother Neil invariably took two. Neil always took two. Everyone had how did you know that? How did you know that? I Neil know about your mental problems. I don't have mental And do you understand? And I know how they apply to your current habits. You think you're sophisticated and you spend money and get expensive bottles of wine. So what are you, you talking think about? I don't... And you've achieved success in life, but you don't understand. I see a child. I see a child in Brookline, Massachusetts fighting for a pork chop to take it away from your bigger and stronger brothers. You shovel. He still takes the pork. Like a pig at the trough. Do you understand? When I look at you, I see God. a pig at the trough. God, you, you work for me. Yeah. One word for me and you're gone. Right. You were gone and then it's no more traveling the world. You know, by the way, why are you even here? Right. Why aren't you with, you have a newborn child and yeah. your wife. Why aren't you with them? So to clarify, you are asserting your rank and power right now. Is that correct? Uh, I'm not even asserting it. It's you, just clear. You may feel in your core a bit insecure, but with your rank and power, your samurai armor, so to speak, you are maintaining the upper hand, and that must be deeply satisfying to you. 
you are stronger, uh, you are uh, taller. I am, in fact, in the position of power uh, right now. Again, I look at my body language and uh, the tone of my voice. And uh, I'm sure this nice waitress, while may, she may not understand what we say, assumes that I'm the one in power. Why? Why do you think As she should? Why do you think she thinks? Because I understand this culture and we resonate. Like a window pane, uh, upon hearing a certain frequency vibrating back and forth, uh, she and I are resonating. You think you're resonating with her? Yes. I'm the one that makes her laugh every you time. You are the fly banging against the window. I am the one that's... understand? I am doing great with her. You play the jester. You play the fool. This is the role of comedy in history. You are a court jester. She sees... You're, you are wearing bells and bright colors right now. She sees eyes. a guy who's wearing... I am a kimono he hasn't earned. You haven't earned you, that kimono. It's... Uh, you're a clown to her. She likes me. I'm the one she likes. She likes you because you're a jester. Do you understand? You're something to be... I'm the one she will eventually marry. Oops, that's awkward. Um, if she wants to, and if my wife's cool with it. She has no interest in you romantically. You, you're speaking for her. Um, yeah, she's I, a woman who might... I'm interpreting the body language, also the uh, social circumstance. We are in a formal environment. You are clad in nothing but a t-shirt, which is, is tucked, uh, did you tuck in a t-shirt? Who yeah, tucks in a t-shirt? I didn't tuck it in. Yeah, well, it, uh, under your um, belly flap, I think the t-shirt uh, <laughs> accidentally got tucked in. He, excuse me, he says that I have fat on my belly, but I think my belly's okay. He is uh, fat. I am not fat. I am not. I am not. What do you think? Fat or not fat? He, he fat. Uh, fat. Uh, fat. He fat. Yeah. No, no, no. Thank show her, show, you. show her your belly. I don't want to, I, 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 I cannot. In this era, me too, uh -huh. I'm not going to show this woman my uh, my belly. I just, but thank you, arigato, for saying that I'm not a fat man. Thin, handsome man who any woman would love to marry. Uh, I, 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 you may I, want to adjust the, your belly flat is trying to be. Stop, you know, you know, stop it. I don't have. I am 6'4 uh -huh. and about 188 pounds. Uh -huh. I don't know how to, you know. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, okay. So I don't want to hear more belly flat talk. Okay. You don't have to talk about it. Bad, isn't it? You know, whether you acknowledge something... So I need to get... I, so, what about surgically removing it? Yeah, you see, you're not addressing the underlying mental problems. You see, you're looking at the symptoms. You're talking about how many calories are in a glass of beer versus a glass of vodka. If it's vodka, it's made from potatoes, which are a complex carbohydrate, a starch, a glycemic index. You're getting caught up. You're taking your calculator out. You hire expensive nutritionists never addressing the underlying problem. You know what the underlying problem is? Those pork chops. Your brother's stealing those pork chops from you. You shovel. You put your hand over your plate and you shovel like a Neanderthal because you're worried about a rival tribe coming and stealing your, your kill. I never thought I'd say this before, but I think you have a point. Could you pour me some more? Uh, uh, yeah. Can you hand me the tukuri? Put them in the, the sake bowl. Uh, the sake bowl, yes, yeah. so cool. Thank you. I honor you, and you can choose uh, whether you want to uh, do the same class, uh, please. For me. And go. No. I fuck you twice. Hmm. I know you're caught up in the here and now, but I'd like you to uh, take a moment to step back. I want you to say that. I'm a fairly lean American male. Uh, relative to some Americans, you are uh, somewhat leaner. That's the best you can do? That is an accurate statement. And I honor you by giving you the truth. I'll tell you something. Japanese culture is all about honor and, in fact, saving face and giving face. I'm going to give you face. I'm going to say that your eating problem, Let me say this based again. on your mental Let me problems, stop. What you're saying is, you want to straddle me. If we're two men, you're drinking semen. You want 
want to say it again with my face? I am giving. <laughs> you want to give me face? Yeah. See that you are sending so many signals to me. Right. That you want to have passionate sex with me. Uh -huh. That's what you're doing. You want me to submit? Yeah. Keep it in my mouth. These are all things you've said. You can't hide behind eating your little Twizzleberry or Dazzle Dazzy, you know? Just say that I'm a healthy and fit American. I'm going to give you face. I'm going to tell you that your mental problems have contributed to your success in a positive way. So. We are thankful that those mental problems are there because in the end, it allows us to enjoy this beautiful experience. You're living off my mental problems. And so is the whole staff. As are you, so, and, and, and a large part of the people that uh, watch what we do. So, in a way, because Niels took my pork chops as a child, in we owe Neil. We owe Neil. We do. We do. I am giving you faith. You know what? Understand? That I thank you for. I honor you. And I still do not. However, I would like some more. Yes. Please. I honor you, my friend, my colleague, professionally and personally, and in this moment, spiritually, I honor you by nourishing you with that sake. Then I give you sake, and I remind you that I employ you I still don't know what it is you do for a living. What is your job? What do you do at work? I'm an associate producer. But what do you do day in and day out? Home bottle. What do you do? She knows what she does for a living. I know what I do. What do you do? We are in uh, an isolated environment here where the toils of our daily tasks do not need to You don't apply. toil. You don't toil. I've never seen you toil. You make yourself expensive espressos. You walk around. Uh, you plan trips. You plan trips. I honestly don't know what it is you do. I toil so you can toil on different things. Are we allowed to ask what that is? Or I know what that is. Where's that? That's Boomi, presumably from the islands of Hokkaido. Now, we are on the island of Honshu. Now, Japan, of course, is a stratovolcanic archipelago, which is made up of nearly 7,000 islands. But really, four of the islands are major. And you're talking about from north to south, I'd say the major ones are Hokkaido, Honshu, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Shikuku, and uh, Kyushu. Is this a dish made of rice? Uh, there is some rice, which some has been, uh, expertly made. Uh, I, I would like you to savor each grain of rice and not shovel it in your mouth. I do eat too quickly. Yes. I, I know. I know you do. But how many calories are in a glass of vodka compared to a glass of wine? Because that's important. Never mind the fact that you eat uh, three bowls of rice Whereas most uh, human beings would only eat one. Forget about that. How many calories do you save by switching from wine to vodka? I don't know. Hmm. Do I say any? Oh, yeah, I'm sure you save uh, maybe 40. Now, the uni that we get in the United States typically comes from Santa Barbara, and here in Japan comes from the uh, northern island of Hokkaido. Now, uni, in addition to having an intoxicating texture, uh, tastes like the sea. You can taste the ocean. Maybe you can taste the sea of Okos.
Why is time? Uh, that's time. Yeah. You, um, not only can we taste the sea, we can taste the Japanese sea. In this meal, we can taste Japan. We can experience Japanese culture from the inside out, from internal to external. Externally, we are aware of our surroundings. Internally, we eat this food and drink this sake. Uh, we are bursting with culture and the Japanese experience right now. I'm in hell. I'm in hell right now. I'm in Arigato. Arigato. I'm in hell. Captain, in endless loop. What did he I think she understood the essence of what I said. Poor sake. You are to, you are my only link to the outside world. Could you send for help, please? I need help. How do you have to do it? He's yeah. insane. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I need to escape and be with someone else. Call the police. Very good. I got it. Call the police. Thank you. Please rescue me from the insane man. Now, I'm sure she was not laughing to be polite. I'm sure she genuinely was trying to be polite. Meanest thing you've ever said to me. I'd like to watch Koi eat your face. Just chew away at it. What are you doing right now with that face? I'm enjoying myself. What are you doing with your face? <laughs> watching your face. You're just... I'm watching your face. Yeah. yeah. Twitching back and forth, unable to concentrate and enjoy an experience uh, because you're a smart man and your brain is constantly buzzing back and forth, up and down, at all kinds of angles and inclinations. I see everything through your face. Jordan, why do you work for me if you find me to be so flawed? What I'm telling you is I am trying to enjoy an experience with you, and you are concerned with uh, earthly matters like what I do at work. Um, Just curious. How long have you worked for me? How many years? Uh, 24 years. 24 years? Yeah. And I still don't know what it is that you do. Right. And it's not just me. Nobody knows what you do. The police are coming. Yeah, good. Good. He's getting help. Arigato. Okay. You'll be arrested. Arigato. Thank you. For rescuing me from you. You've long been a fan of Japan. Uh, I find that my own spirituality aligns with some of the um, spiritual impulses here as well. A respect for every object. Again, these things serve us. They serve a purpose in our lives, and we honor them. This beautiful table. I think the minimalism of this room really represents that. Let me tell you something, though. I don't agree that every object is beautiful. I didn't say every object is beautiful. There's not a, what is it, a Shinto... Is Shinto, is it a Shinto god? Shinto kami, the Shinto gods. There's not a Shinto god. The Shinto god. gods are also the de your deceased ancestors. You understand? Your deceased ancestors are here in these objects at the table. No, they're not. That bowl. No. My ancestors are not here. That bowl. That napkin. No, they're from Ireland. They're not here. They're from Ireland and central Massachusetts. I know exactly where they are. They're not here. They're not. And I mean, if they become part of a new object, they're like a potato in central Massachusetts. They're not a beautiful marble bowl here. You know, they're not a jade stone here in Japan. I know where my people are. My people, when they're reincarnated, become used cars in central Massachusetts. Dodge darts, balance, Nissan Sentra. That's where my people are. They don't become a butterfly in Japan or a cherry blossom. The objects around us, uh, they serve us and we respect them. Do you understand? We respect everything in front of us and we respect, respect this experience of where we are. We show honor. 
they serve us, and that uh, lets us live low stress lives. You see, you, the reason why you probably, I said you would be dead in 24 years because that's what the US statistics say, but in fact, you may go earlier because you are burdened with uh, stress and uh, the aforementioned unhealthy eating. So really, let's say you have two decades left. You choose to spend that time cluttering your mind and your life and uh, worrying about things that you can't control, even though you like to think you can control. And I understand you've been around incompetent people and you've had to take control. And it served you well, so you may feel like every experience you should exert control. Do you feel in control here? Or are you starting to get the picture? That you, and I, that you and I are students. We are pupils right now. Us both, we are living and experiencing a different circumstance. You understand? We are on the island of Honshu in the Pacific Ring of Fire. We are on a strata about a uh, volcanic archipelago. We are not in your normal everyday life. We are outside of that life. We have traveled through time and space. I knew you'd end up on time and space again. It's just what you're stuck on today. That's the record your stupid brain is playing, mm -hmm. is time and space. And I, you've said it so, so many times, and it means nothing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when this turned into an intervention. Why are you picking at your shirt? Just picking at it. Yeah, I, I know you're picking at it. I asked why you're picking at it. I'm picking at it because you're verbally assaulting me. Okay, and picking at it gives you comfort, like a woody? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it gives me comfort. Yeah. Right. I'm picking at it. your security blanket. You feel know, good? Why not? You've exerted your authority. That makes you feel good, right? What do I do at work? Nothing. That makes you feel good. Go ahead, pick at your blanket. Where's your woobie? Do you like a specific woobie, like an old one? You've completely lost it's your It's gone a little soft. You've you know lost a new woobie, right? You have lost your mind. Right. What's go, a woobie? Go to the woobie. What are you talking You're about? You're picking at the woobie. <laughs> You're comforting yourself. What are you talking about? You feel your material. It comforts you. You're a, you're a tortured soul. You have snapped. You project, I see right through you. You You've completely I snapped. I see right through your beady little eyes. You exert, you exert. You're the most insulting. Sophistication. You came here. You are here. a child. You are shoveling, you're getting that pork chop in before Neil steals it from you. You are feeling your whoopee. You're saying, you're a child. You have no right to talk to me this way. Right. No right. Yeah, and well, I. If you show a little humility, <laughs> if you cut your down self down to size, you will more accurately participate in. What, a, what about it's this? About humility. What about this beautiful room and this beautiful meal has turned you into this verbally abusive cyclone? Do you like it, Willie? I think. <laughs> You don't want it to get tucked in under the belly flap accidentally. I, you could pull it out and you can play with it. It's comforting. You could be comfortable. I'm here with a bunch of people. There are people shooting this, and no one's doing anything to help. What is it about this? In, you've, you've gone crackers. I, I, you've gone loco yeah. in your kimono. We are you have men. gone we are humble men. in your cabeza. We are humble men. Stop saying we are men and that we're traveling through time and space. We have done both of those things. I need more. Please. Pour for me. Do you want to um, show me how you play with the woobie? Let's drop the woobie for now. Do you know you're playing with it while you're playing with it? Sure. Yeah. It gives you comfort. It gives you comfort. You need comfort, right? Because this is not a comfortable environment, right? So we need some extra comfort. Well, this would be a really nice environment if you weren't here. Mm. You're See, externally this is a nice environment, but what, what about in here? What about in your head? Is it not, maybe not so comfortable all the time? No, I'm yeah. sure. You have certain uh, defense mechanisms that you sure, use. Sure, Beethoven had yeah. rough nights. Uh -huh. Mozart. Mm -hmm. uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. Genius is always yeah. plagued by, by mental problems. By yeah. mental issues. We, we, can, I, we can talk about them and, and help. Maybe we can uh, help each stick. other. I think we should stick. No. I think we should stick to. Oh. We're here. Right. We're in Japan. Yes. Let's take your advice. Not talk about your mental problems. Not talk about your woody. But eat the meal. We can ask if that's a potato. See, I'm trying to have a real conversation. I told you, Kaiseki is not about the food only. It is about the experience. It is about these two men that sit here and explore each other and ourselves. We learn, I learn about you, and I learn about you myself. You want to explore me? Yes. And you yes. want me to explore you? Yes. I You're want you to control. explore me, and I want you to explore yourself. I want yes. you to come out of this a better man than you came in. 
We'll get to that. My question for you is, Jordan, yeah. I think Americans don't want to know, in addition to Italy, you've had a long session with Japan. When did that begin for you? Well, like uh, a lot of Americans, my first exposure to Japanese culture was through cinema. And uh, in my case, growing up when I did, my fascination with Japanese culture began with the Karate Kid Part Two. Now, let me tell you for a moment, it has nothing to do with karate or the martial art. It has to do with a very specific scene. Now, that movie was shot and took place in uh, Okinawa, which is the southern uh, part of Japan. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, uh, Daniel was staying in a ryokan, which is Daniel? A, oh, yeah, Daniel Sung, uh, played by Ralph Macchio, which is um, actually the Italian way pronounced Macchio, but I believe he pronounces it Macchio in all respect to the decision. Uh, a lot of that movie took place in a ryokan, which is a traditional Japanese uh, thing. They go back to the uh, 8th century. A room that looked very much like this one, and there was a very uh, tender scene where his love interest, uh, Kumiko, who was in fact played by an Okinawan woman, made him matcha tea in a traditional tea ceremony, and I was fascinated because, as I mentioned before, all of her movements were precise and deliberate. Everything had its place. There was a specific spatula and a specific way she scooped the tea and whisked the tea, in an M shape, in fact. And my fantasy since then has been to transport myself, to fantasize as an adult about transporting myself to that situation. And here we find ourselves in this beautiful traditional Japanese room. And maybe we'll have some matcha tea at the end. And maybe our beautiful waitress will come and make us tea in the traditional manner. So Jordan, let's recap. Yeah. Your entire fascination with Japan mm -hmm. stems from the fact that you saw Karate Kid 2. Yeah. And that it was filmed in where? Okinawa. Okinawa. Mm -hmm. And you saw that. And from that experience mm -hmm. grew your love and your expertise in Japan. I don't claim to be an expert. I am enamored with Japanese. Please, things. stick to the facts. Mm. Am I correct? Yes, you are. What you just said is that you, as a child, watched Karate Kid 2. You saw that it was shot in Okinawa. Correct. You fell in love with that Okinawa. And your entire expertise in Japanese culture, such as it is, is based on that experience. Yes? I'm enamored with Japanese culture because of that experience. Yes. I have a message here for you. Please press play. And uh, hold that out to the camera as you watch it. So <laughs> Thank you, Ralph Macchio. <laughs> All of this that we are doing is built on a fraud. You fraud. I understand that. You fraud. You love Hawaii. You don't love Japan. You love a movie set in Hawaii. And it's Machio, not Machio. Everything you have said during this long meal has just been discounted. Judge has just found you guilty and you've been sentenced to 
an eternity of ineptitude and humiliation. You are flailing in the wind like a used car a lot balloon. I understand the use of faith. Do you understand? I became enamored with Japanese culture and I will not You said it was shot. It. You said it was shot in Okinawa. No. It was shot in Hawaii. Yes, and I also can't name the second gapper on the movie. The point is, the movie had a profound impact on my life. Yeah. Do you understand? I don't care what kind of film stock was in the camera. Do you understand? You're looking at things a little bit too literally, don't you think? I don't think so. I think you saw something on screen that you believed was Okinawa. Who's but you know what? It, but you know what it was? You know what it was? Position? It was a mini mart. It was a mini mart parking lot in Hawaii. Ralph Macchio, your hero, just schooled you, and you don't have the balls to admit it. You're sitting there in your garb, your robe of falsehoods, shrouded in lies. Half truths. Your life as you've lived it is meaningless. You need to rebuild, start from the beginning, create a new persona. Because mm. everything that you've created and all this babble mm. disproved. Uh, I'm at peace. I'm at peace with my history. I am a sum total I think of you're all stunned. my experience. Here's how I read it. I think you're stunned. Mm. I think your childhood hero mm. uh, just made fun of you. And I think you are reeling. Right. I think blood is leaking from your gut. I think you are in shock. Yeah. I think right now you're in shock. Yes. And you're gonna, I am try, in and, shock. And you're gonna yeah. try and talk yourself out of it. No, no, I'm in shock. Your childhood hero just came out of my phone yeah. and took a shit into your mouth. Yeah, I am in you shock. You just ate Ralph Macchio's shit. Mm. He shit into your mouth. He shit into my mouth. Yeah. Yes. And you are appreciating I see. Uh, the poop. I am you're having a good little yes. taste because you appreciate things. That's what just happened. I appreciate things. I do yeah. appreciate things. Uh, I am shocked that you had uh, our talent booker reach out to his publicist and say, hey, we're shooting something in Japan and we have a staff member that really liked the Karate Kid too. Can you read these lines? You recorded him reading the lines with the phone. You showed it to me and thought that this would have some uh, profound disappointment for me. He didn't and read that those. Exerts, that, 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 was him. that was him. Yeah. He didn't read lines. Yeah. He said that. You have the authority. You have the connection. I can get to Ralph Macchio. Yeah, you, yes, you can. Yes, yes I can get can. to Ralph Macchio. That's fantastic. And you can't. Can't I? You can't. I you can't get to Ralph you, Macchio. You, you cannot. Like you it. sat in the theater. Your connection to Ralph Macchio is completely misidentifying where he was shooting his movie. You're saying I That's your get to Ralph connection Macchio. to Ralph Macchio. I can get to Ralph you know, Macchio. I'm surprised. No. I'm, I, su I'm surprised. You know, newsflash for you. Yeah. You sat in the theater as a boy, idolized yeah. this guy and grew up to mispronounce his name and not know where the fuck he shot his movie. Mm. You, sir, are a fool. I do you, not sir, know where Ralph Macchio shot the It's Macchio! Because I'm a it's fool. It's Macchio! I am a fool. It is Macchio! It was shot. It's Macchio. Macchio! I can get to him if I wanted to. It's do you Macchio. Understand? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I can get to Macchio. Oh. I called the same publicist you did. I oh. say, hey, remember that thing you did? Now we're going to get Conan yeah. back. Guess you what? You thought he had the authority. Guess what, you boo? Yeah. yeah. First of all, you can't do that for two reasons. Yeah. Listen to you. Right now, you sound like an insane stalker. I can get to him. We have footage of you with your eyes as wide as an owl saying, I can get to Macchio. I can get to him. I can get to him. I can get you're not to gonna get, No, you're not going to get close to him. Second of all, I pronounce second of all, second of all, Macchio. Second of Macchio. all, Macchio. Second of all, second of all, for you to get close to Macchio, you would have to actually make a phone call from work, which would mean you'd be doing actual work. And that is something that will never happen. So no, you will live and you will die, probably at a very old age, because you're eating fish and sweet corn cob, and you are going to leave this earth, and you will never have met Ralph Munch. I can get to Mafia. Yeah, keep saying that. Keep saying that the police are on your ass right now. You're a stalker, you're a creep, you're a sociopath. I can get to Mafia. I can get to Mafia. As you will be.
Oh, it's your, your skin this time? What are you talking about? Oh, you're playing with your skin this time. I am rubbing right. my Sorry, fingers together because I've gone in for the kill. I didn't realize it got you know what I do? belly flap. Oh, that's what you do? Oh, that's what you do. No, no, you run it together completely, when you, when you when put I someone down to size. When I completely humiliated you, I am humiliated, yeah. You turn and start saying I have belly flap. That's really mature. Well, that's big man. I'm grounded big in man. the factual. You're taking, you're presupposing that I feel any kind of humiliation right now. This is factual. He came through the phone. Why do you have he a phone your... that has a credit card in it? Can't you put the credit card in your pocket or a wallet? Very smart way to go. Why? Always. You if you lose it, you lose both. Yeah. First, First of all, all, that's aesthetically displeasing. That is that is hideously ugly. You're flailing. What color is that? Look at you. Burgundy? Look at you. You're flailing. Is it burgundy? You're Go with the primary color. Ralph Macchio you just... Assert just yourself? Go Ralph with the primary Macchio, color. No, you are flailing. Ralph you are, Macchio has no impact you, on my personality. No, no impact. You just went after the color of my phone. You said it was displeasing. You are flailing. You are grabbing anything I'll you can. This. Guess what? Yeah. You are a ship sinking very quickly. Uh, the boilers have exploded. Uh, there's oil leaking all over the sea. There's fire. You're going down by the bow, mm -hmm. old chum, and you can't handle it. Yeah. You can't handle the truth. You know what movie that's from? Yes, I do. Which one? I'll tell you something. It was really you know, which one? What's it from? <laughs> what movie is it from? Yeah. Few Good Men. You know yeah. where they shot it? No. Do you know where they shot it? No. They shot it at the Arctic Circle. Mm. But you thought they actually shot it in Annapolis. Mm. That's you. I happen to know that you right now are flailing. Mm. Flailing. I'm flailing. Yes, you're flailing. I'm flailing. Yes, Conan's fat, me as a dumb phone, because I don't like that it's a maroon color, and I also don't like that you he has a You made an interesting card. choice. You said I could go with black, but no, no, no. Get me the maroon one. Who bought you that case? Did you buy it yourself? Did you go into an Apple store? I did. Yeah, you went into an Apple. Which one did you go to? Well, I actually ordered it online. Oh, you ordered it online? It's a company I like. Yeah. And so I ordered it online. And look you, at you. And you look deliberately at you. chose the burgundy. I you like said it. the black, I hope they have the burgundy in stock. I like a red, but I don't want a fire engine red because that's bold and I'm not bold, <clears throat> except when I try to cut my employee down to size. But I go with the burgundy because it's a little more subdued, but it gives me that little edge. So you have a little bit of an edge, right? You're not boring black, but you're not like crazy immature. Meanwhile, I look at you playing with your whoopee. I look at you shoveling food because Neil's gonna steal your pork chop. So I don't care if your phone's burgundy. I see right through you. You need to go to the hospital. Yeah. You need to go to the hospital. Right, and you're having a complete. Yeah. You showed me a video of Ralph Macchio, like it's going to have it's this Macchio, effect on me. It's and Macchio. My confidence. It's Macchio. Yeah. Of That's course how it is. he. Of course it is. That's how he pronounces his name. Yeah. Well, here's I discredited him. You. I think he snapped. I really do think. Do you have any other uh, gags or gimmicks you want to whip out of your phone? Any, I just want to know, do you have any B-list celebrities that, you, that recorded messages for me? Or? Your childhood hero? You just called him a B-list celebrity? Uh, would you claim otherwise? Yes, I would. Yeah, what, what list is he on? I think what you're doing right now is terrible. Uh, I, I am telling I you that the man pronounces his name incorrectly. And uh, I don't put him on the same level as uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. If Jack Nicholson's an A, you're saying Ralph Macchio is an A? There has to be a gradation. B plus? A minus? He's not equal. We're going to go to the hospital. We need to take Jordan to the hospital. You need to be sedated. You were having a psychic fright. Look at you. Look at your face. <laughs> look at my face. It's a mess. Look, I want you to look at my face. Study me. Study me like an animal. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I don't know. You looking for reinforcement back there? No, I'm looking Does for anyone, Can anyone reinforce? I'm looking He's for insecure. I'm looking for security. <laughs> oh, you have your whoopee. No, no. I'm oh. looking for actual physical oh. security. Oh, I see. I want a security mm -hmm. guard to take you to a van. I see. And take you to a hospital. Right. I want you to be put on a lithium drip. Mm. And I want you to go to sleep for like a year. Right. And then you're going to slowly wake up and you're going to apologize to Ralph Macchio for calling him a B-list celebrity mm. when he is not. He's your childhood idol. I'm shocked to see you stoop so low. Shocked. Do you know the uh, Peter Cetera song, The Glory of Love, uh, which was produced by David Foster, came out of the Karate Kids. It was also released on the Peter Cetera solo album, Solitude Solitaire. 
which by the way was also mastered very well. Um, I actually loved his song One Good Woman from 1988. Not a lot of people know that song. I love it. I loved when he was with Chicago. I do like the David Foster produced albums like Chicago 17, uh, for example. Um, I think that was his last album. Which well, was, there you have it. The computer's broken. It's just now spouting out random disassociated facts. Uh, I'm sorry, Jordan. I'm sorry I broke you. If I had to do it all over again, I might not have shown you the Ralph Mock yet. I, I think it snapped your mind. But yeah. what's done is done. Yeah. And all I can do is appreciate this beautiful room and the fact that you are insane. Sorry for the shouting. We thought Karate Kid 2 was shot in Okinawa. It was, um, it's white. So he had a psychic break. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yes, thank you very much.